So because time is up at the end of the half, this is a 59-metre penalty for Elliot Daly. He does have a siege gun of a left foot. He's going to need it. Of time and space for Rian Falun. He's having a drop goal attempt. He struck it long as he got the direction distance. Oh boy. Oh, what a wide start. Rian Falun. Magnificent strike from the fullback as Cheetahs draw first blood here. Unbelievable. That is on the 10 yard line, Rian Falun. I saw him knocking them over while the players were warming up. He was striking it sweetly, he strikes it sweetly again. It just sneaks in on the inside of that upright. Stain says, yeah, I fancy my chances from here. Now then, this is one of his distances, isn't it? He scored a couple against Toulouse last week from 60 meters. Uh, he's quite a small pitch, this, in comparison. <laughs> but it's a big, big cask of this fullback. That is it. It is without a doubt in his range, but whether, you know, we saw him the first half and we know that he can be hot, he can be cold. Hot last week, he missed one earlier, and an easier one, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Six metres longer. He's given it a good wallop. What a kick! 66 metres, child's play. 26 points to 12. What a player. And I think we see a, a couple of substitutes over on the far side, Bob, warming up, and uh, probably what Racing need at this stage to get a few guys on, but I think there's some Leinster ones as well. Yes, Keen Healy coming onto the field at loose head in place of Hanky van der Merve. Just one of them. But early in, just trying to get away from Potkita there, but look at Staines reading of the game. Will have Steve. Drop kick number four. It's sailing, sailing, sailing. Over! But down the throat to Mornestain. He may have been on the halfway line. As he kicks that, he has a little look to check that the distance is there. He's jogging back already. Over she goes. And Hogg is going to have a go. Now, he was slotting them from further out than this in practice other side of the pitch and about two or three meters deep and he hit I'd, well it must have been 60 meters with a breeze but we know that he can hit a long one and he was stroking them really well in practice he had lovely rhythm and he didn't force the kick but this is not practice now and there's a world of difference i've seen second rows who in practice could kick goals from 50 meters with their eyes shut couldn't kick him from 10 meters in a game this is a semi-final and the pressure is on but hogg has the rhythm and he has the technique apart from john eels yeah bang there it goes again from hogg he really likes it he knew straight what a kick from Stuart Hogg. He was not hanging around that kicking team. That is for an aid to take off the pitch. Absolute Howard sir of a right boot. That had that had another five meters on it. You saw how cleanly you struck that. You saw the distance he got on it. You saw how easily it cleared, and that's a huge confidence boost for him. Dupuy. Bob Cease going for the long drop goal from just what inside the opposition half. What, what a, a kick. kick indeed. Look at that foot thrown through. He smashes through it. Look at that strike. That is as perfect a drop kick as you will see. The throw see. didn't look too bad. The lifter just wasn't behind the jumper in time. And somebody called for the offence. Just a timing issue. Well... Miss Bowers, uh, just looking at the new stand they've erected for this game, it reminded me Here of the Millard stand in Welling. The ball was inside that, so clearly still in the ruck. This is 
60 meters. Now, I'm not sure distance will be a problem, this, but probably not. This is enormous. A little bit more on the angle. Away she goes, and just under. No, it's oh. over. Gee whiz. That is amazing. My initial instinct was just under. Wow, that is one heck of a penalty kick. Well, we reckon 61 metres on the angle, and... Oh. Unbelievable. We would have had a good look at that one over there, Willie. Charlie Farmoina. It's accused of dropping that shoulder. Yeah, guilty of actually taking the right arm and forcing it through, doing it in front of the ref, which isn't smart. And this kick here is at least 60 metres, fellas. Yes. And Luke McAllister looked up and says, I'll have a crack. Breeze is actually coming across the field, so it's not directly behind his back. We know what a quality kicker he is. So McAllister lining up. 63 on the angle, we're reliably informed by our statisticians. If anyone's got the thighs to kick this distance, it's McAllister. Look at the state of those. First kick of the match. Looks like it has plenty of distance on it. Slips over the bar. That is an absolute ripper from Luke McAllister. Welcome back. We're smiling too because I don't know if he was overly confident so <laughs> that he had that distance, but that's huge. Look at this. Brought it around nicely on the wind because he also had that to contend with. He's got the draw. And the distance. Somewhere in those natty silver boots uh, is a stick of dynamite. I think the ref checks yeah. the boots before the game, Nick. Make sure they haven't got illegal studs or dynamite. I in think he shoes. put it, well. He put it in at half time. It's a, it's an old Elliot Daly tactic. You know, dynamite at half time trick. This will be one of the biggest kicks I've ever seen if he gets this. <laughs> Blast off! Oh no! That was a rocket to the moon and back with space captain Daly. Still had a few, he probably had another metre, two metres in that anyway, didn't he? Oh, you shouldn't be allowed to do that. Oh, Mitch the Mur wasps back to a 20-point lead. As a result of this Apollo-like kick. Yeah, Evans has slotted into 10 now, Botica's made way. 